When using observational data, <coughs> quantifying the effect of treatment strategies that are sustained over time is not straightforward because only people who live for a long time can receive treatment for a long time. A way to appropriately manage this potential for immortal time bias consists on first cloning your observational data set into as many exposure groups as you want to study, second censoring those clones uh, when they deviate from the assigned strategy, and third using inverse priority weighting to adjust for the potential of selection introduced by that artificial censoring. This is a well-established approach which has been used for over a decade in, field, in fields like HIV, cardiovascular, and cancer research. In this study, we explore an alternative to cloning based on randomly allocating people to either strategy. Censoring and adjusting for bias remained unchanged. We use the emulation of a target trial of breast cancer screening using Medicare claims data. We estimated in more than a million women over 70 years old who were just screened for breast cancer, what was the effect of stopping screening versus continuing screening for eight more years on breast cancer specific mortality. We found that random assignment can be a valid alternative to cloning at baseline. The trade-off is more variability of the point estimate and wider confidence intervals. Mm -hmm.